The recent controversy surrounding Prince Harry's selection for the Pat Tillman Award offers us a crucial opportunity to examine the process and the purpose of such honors. Awards at their core are meant to celebrate exceptional achievements and inspire others. They are not popularity contests, nor should they be swayed by public opinion or media narratives. The Pat Tillman Award, like many others, was established to honor those who embody specific values and make significant contributions to their field. Let's consider how individuals are typically selected for such prestigious awards. The nomination process. Most awards begin with a nomination process. Candidates are put forward by peers, organizations, or the public based on their merits and achievements. Criteria evaluation. A committee of experts evaluates nominees against a set of predetermined criteria. For the Pat Tillman Award, this includes service to veterans and impact through sports. Deliberation. The selection committee engages in thoughtful discussions, weighing the strengths of each candidate. Consensus building. The committee works towards a consensus, often through multiple rounds of voting. Final decision. The recipient is chosen based on who best embodies the award's values and has made the most significant impact. It's crucial to understand that these decisions are not made lightly or without careful consideration. The Pat Tillman Foundation, like many award-given bodies, relies on the support of sponsors and donors. However, this financial backing should not and typically does not influence the selection process. The integrity of the award depends on its ability to recognize genuine achievement, regardless of public opinion or potential controversy. Prince Harry's selection for the Pat Tillman Award is a testament to his work with the Invictus Games. This initiative has transformed the lives of countless veterans, providing them with purpose, hope, and a platform for healing. Many veterans have stated that the Invictus Games saved their lives. A impact that cannot be overstated. The backlash we've witnessed is not unique to this situation. When Harry received the Living Legend of Aviation Award, similar voices of dissent emerged. This pattern of criticism, often fueled by tabloid media, raises serious questions about the motivations behind such relentless negativity. We must ask ourselves, are we allowing personal biases and media narratives to cloud our judgment of genuine accomplishments? Are we diminishing the value of awards by questioning every decision that doesn't align with some people's popular opinion? It's time we recognize the dangerous path we thread when we allow tabloid journalism and social media campaigns to dictate how we celebrate achievement. The harassment and abuse directed at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have crossed a line. Venturing into territory that threatens not just their personal lives, but the very fabric of fair and responsible journalism. It's time for those who still uphold the standards of journalistic ethics like truth and accuracy, independence, fairness and impartiality, accountability, transparency, and integrity to break away from confusing controversy with a narrative of hate, which is organized and 
targeted. Do your job and stop relying on the same sources that are waging this relentless campaign of hate towards the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This is not about controversy. It's an intentional campaign of hate and misinformation. As a society, we must stand against this tide of negativity. We must support organizations that make difficult decisions based on merit rather than public sentiment. We must celebrate those who dedicate their lives to serving others, regardless of their background or the controversies that may surround them. The Invictus Games, founded by Prince Harry, founded by Prince Harry, have given new life to veterans who once thought they had lost everything. This achievement alone is worthy of recognition. It embodies the spirit of service and sacrifice that the Pat Tillman Award was created to honor. Let us move forward with a renewed commitment to integrity in our awards process. Let us celebrate true heroes, those who make a tangible difference in the lives of others. And let us resist the urge to tear down achievements simply because they don't align with some people's popular narrative or misguided information. The power of recognition lies not in the award itself, but it is the ability to inspire others to greatness. By honoring those who truly make a difference, we set a standard for future generations to aspire to. This is the true purpose of awards, and it's a purpose we must fiercely protect.